Assalamu alaikum, I will be giving a brief presentation on novel theme of past protection and control for fear protection. I am Amehani from NB University and I am serving as a junior consultant at Agile Technical and Consultancy. So basically this paper proposes uh, a past protection and control scheme of fear automation for the modern distribution of this. Fear uh, protection are generally two stages and three stages over current uh, relay. Uh, therefore, their operation time is generally slow. Therefore, in order to fasten up the protection scheme, a distributed self-healing feeder protection scheme using bi-directional fault power uh, is being used to determine the fault rate section. This is a traditional distribution system uh, which consists of three zones, uh, zone 1, zone 2 and zone 3. And you can see A, B, C are bus bars of 11 kb. IS4 and IS7 are open uh, in normal uh, operation mode. IS4 and IS7 are basically interconnection uh, switches. Whereas uh, uh, overcurrent relays are generally equipped at the uh, bus bars, that is at the beginning of uh, 11 kb line, that is A, B, and C. Auto reclosing uh, is usually put into the use for overhead lines and basically for uh, cable lines and mixed cable overhead, there will be no auto reclosing. For feeder automation protection, there will be two modes, uh, centralized mode and uh, localized mode. Uh, so uh, you can see that, uh, for example, if a permanent fault occurs at uh, uh, F1, which is an example of a centralized operation uh, mode. Uh, so, in order to restore power at the non faulted section, for uh, following the uh, method, the following steps will be taken. So, first of all, circuit breaker 3 will be open as soon as the fault will be detected. And when the fault has been detected, uh, the distribution terminal unit BCU9 will, de uh, uh, will detect that there is an overcurrent and uh, uh, low voltage current. Uh, this information will be sent to the central uh, station and it will conclude that the faulted section is in between uh, switching segment 91 and switching segment 8 and it will uh, lastly it will uh, send a remote control uh, command to close circuit breaker 3 and the switching interconnection switch to better 7 then the power supply of non faulted section will be restored. Now, the, what, uh, now, uh, the novel is clean. Uh, because uh, uh, in the previous scheme, we saw that the feeder was taking a uh, very long uh, time, either it is in a centralized or the localized mode, uh, it may result in extended time of power interruption of non faulted section. So, in order to overcome this problem, novel uh, protection scheme has been uh, introduced and on the screen you can see uh, the distributed protection scheme for uh, the uh, distribution grid. STU uh, 0 till STU 6 are basically smart terminal uh, units. There will be two operating uh, modes, open uh, loop uh, uh, mode and the closed loop. During the open loop operation, the current flowing through each switch in non faulted section is normal load current and during the closed loop operation in case of a fault, the fault current provided by both the sources by the source A and uh, B will flow through the relevant switches at the both side of the faulted point. So basically this is the flow chart. Uh, which uh, it will be used to identify the uh, faulted section. Uh, there is a case analysis. So, uh, basically, what we have done over here, uh, it is similar uh, to the uh, uh, diagram, so the single line diagram, which should be explained initially. Uh, just the traditional FTUs are uh, at the each segment are replaced with the uh, STU, you can see over here, which have the ability of both protection and uh, control. So, basically, it also consists of three zones A, B, and C. And for example, if the fault F1 occurs, and we can see that F1 fault occurs at the zone, 
F1 so uh, sorry uh, during the uh, open loop sorry STU0 STU1 and STU1 detect a fault current uh, after uh, the fault uh, has occurred uh, because IS4 is open so STU3 cannot detect the fault current and, and also the other remaining STU will also uh, see the normal loop so in uh, therefore STU0 will uh, communicate with STU1 and uh, STU1 will again uh, communicate with the STU hence the mode of uh, uh, communication is the downstream the switches CB1, SS1 and SS2 will be closed and the fault current flowing through the switches has the same direction so the area between CB1 and SS2 will identify as a healthy STU has been has seen a fault current but STU3 does not detect the fault current why because IS4 is open thus the section between SS2 and SS3 can be identified and as a fault is known and STU3 and STU2 can trip command to SS2 and SS3 after the fault section is cleared STU3 informs STU4 and STU4 issues the close command to IS4 the power supply of non faulted zone is present. So, uh, in conclusion, we can say that uh, uh, the presented STU uh, uh, can communicate not only with the central station of video automation but also with the adjacent uh, uh, STUs. So, it can make correct identification for the faulted section. So uh, this is all from my side.